Welcome to another of our track reviews here at Toronto Motorsports Park. And this time, I'm gonna spend some time with my very special friend, the K-Swift. A lot has changed on the K-Swift since the last time we showed it to you guys, including this APR GT250 wing that Kevin's recently mounted up. And maybe just as importantly, he's also put a giant Speed Academy sticker on the side. Pretty sure that's good for I think that's a 20 horsepower sticker, Peter. Look at that thing, that's serious. The tires are different than the last time I tried it. It was on a, uh, a it was on some kind of formula car tire last time. Now we're on the Pirelli Trofeo Rs. This is the stock tire, or not stock tire, this is the tire that's required for CSCS time attack. So that's why Kev's on these. Uh, you can see he's got a sweet set of Koenig dial-in, 15 by nines up front. And he's made a new front splitter, which is very fancy. This is part of what Kevin does. He runs a company called Custom Carbon Composites. So it's got this very nice like 3D shape to it. He's added uh, end fences on it and some canards. But you might have also noticed there's something else sticking out of the front here. It looks all suspiciously like an intercooler. This is Kevin, the owner and builder of the K-Swift, a man who's been known to try to kill me on more than one occasion. <laughs> and now he's trying even harder because he's added boost. What's going on in here, Kevin? Yeah, we put a supercharger on it. So Eric Levine at uh, Levine Motorsports did all the fab work with all a uh, bunch of vibrant fabrication components yeah and it actually fits in there pretty good it's like the only spot we had room to add something and and to be honest I mean it all looks like it belongs it does fit in here surprisingly well considering there's not a lot of front-end real estate there's a, a C38 that's right. right it's a C30 yep. Rotrex C38 C38 91 91 so that's like the big boy C38 yep. yep. and it uh, it's still a K20 yeah, still K20 stock internals, uh, obviously a bit of porting on the manifolds, and, and it's the exact motor that we ran NA. Okay. Uh, just with the supercharger. Retuned. Retuned, yep. So uh, Sasha on point dyno retuned it. Yeah, so how much power do you figure it's making? We don't know because we haven't had it on the dyno above 7200, but it's probably around 450. 450. In a car that weighs how much? Uh, now it's heavy. <laughs> heavy. <laughs> 1740. Oh. Portly even. Yeah. And with me in it, it'll be close to 2,000 pounds. So uh, that's my excuse if I don't go faster than his brother went at the last CSCS event, which was at 113.9? At 13.9, yeah. 13.9. So yeah. wow, that is insane. Currently the fast. track record for track record tires, yeah. for CSCS limited class or super street class? Super street. Super street class. If I'm being honest, I'm a little scared right now. <laughs> it's a lot of car to handle with that much power, but uh, let's go give it a rip and see what happens. All right. Here goes nothing, as they say. <laughs> I should uh, apologize in advance for the sound quality because there is no windows in this car, so it's going to be loud. You're not going to be able to hear me talk while I'm lapping, so I'll probably not talk while driving because this car is going to demand all of my attention. I'll just have to set the start-finish line out here on our AM uh, CD7 dash. Once I set that, I'll slowly put some temperature in the tires. Once I feel like I got some grip, I'll let it rip. All right, guys, let's see how this goes. Good luck, everybody. Seatbelt keeps coming off. Seat belt. Yeah, it keeps coming unlatched. Um, it feels like it's down on power to me. Is it? Yeah, it looked like it. Uh, and I felt like it was breaking up in one of the corners, fuel. like a you like a, like a misfire. Oh, it's fuel. Yeah. Okay, take it back to the trailer. Do I only hit the start finish button once? Yeah. Because I hit it, but it didn't seem to do anything. It's supposed to like blink the lights. Yeah, were you getting lap times? So I wasn't getting lap times, I don't think. You gotta go to the fourth page to get lap times. No, I didn't get a lap time. Okay. So I'll have to try setting it again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, resets it. So yeah, just uh, hit, hold just that hit. until, try it right now. Ah, oh, there's the flash. There I didn't hold it long enough. Okay. I just tapped it. Probably do some 
get some leaving to get heat in the rears and stuff. Like yeah, I'll try. Yeah, yeah, I gotta try harder to get some temperature yeah, in the tire. at our lap time leaderboard here and we are still in second place with the K-Swift but it has knocked a second and a half off of its lap time and we know there's another second there based on what Andrew Kevin's brother's done in this car. I managed a 15-0 which is okay but frankly I was cruising around just getting a feel for the car, short shifting a lot, braking way early, just kind of re-familiarizing me myself with the car and getting used to the amount of power it makes. It is shockingly fast in a straight line. I think earlier I described it as like being shot out of a cannon because it's just got this incredibly like linear sense of acceleration where the, the speed just builds on like this ramp and it your brain kind of has a hard time comprehending it. I've driven some fast cars. I don't know if I've ever driven anything faster than that as far as just that sense of acceleration goes. 450 wheels a lot in any car. In a 1700 pound car, that is just nutty. So what a machine. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go any quicker. It's starting to rain now. The day is over. So I think we're just out of chances with it today, but we will have another crack at it. I've got a little something planned as far as making some changes to it that might suit me a little better. And I need seat belts that will stay plugged in. As you'll see in the in-car video, the seat, kept, seat belts kept blowing off on me, which decreased driver confidence slightly because I don't want to crash in a car this fast. So anyway, thank you very much, Kevin, for letting me have another rip in the, uh, in the should we call it the Speed Academy Suzuki Swift? I mean, that sticker's big enough. I think maybe we could call it that. And if you guys want to see this car in person, Come to the PRI show in Indianapolis in December because Kevin's car is going to be in the Neo Motorsports booth. He runs Neo Motorsports brakes on this car, which by the way, the brakes are fantastic. They've really transformed the car's braking ability. So yeah, go to PRI, see it in person, say hi to Kevin, and maybe even say hi to Peter and I because we'll be there too. So that is a wrap on another of our track test videos. Exciting to see this car get faster even if it didn't move up to that number one spot on our lap time leaderboard. Give us a thumbs up for more K-Swift in a future episode and hit the subscribe button to stay in touch with any future track test videos and all of our project car build as well. Mm -hmm.